and our brain sends some electrical signal, which I can understand very well, and most of the people, <laughs> because neuroscience people always coming from biological field. I mean, electrical engineering field, one both bio and together. I have a very unique position right now, and which I can understand both electrical signal part and biological part, which I can implant my device, implant in surgery, all those things. So both are combined in this lab. Communications of the, our body, right? Our body system is communicating. Our brain is theirs, and brain controls some others part of our body like that. So there's communication system. But somebody, unfortunately, yeah, they lose their arm and leg, and just like that. So they need some prosthetic device. So in that case, the prosthetic device is not communicating with their body system. The brain cannot control the prosthetic device. Currently, they use to stitch the muscles and prosthetic devices a little more. Yeah. So if we can communicate the prosthetic device with our brain and with our yeah, muscles and nerves, I can make the device which is communicating with our brain and the brain signal coming through my device and that will control the prosthetic device. Right now I'm making the micro device which is kind of a yeah, unique one, a very special design and like number of electrodes right now is I'm targeting 512 electrodes. This is almost top level. Our body system is self controlled by our neuroscience system. But my micro device at least control the individual axons in the peripheral nerve side. And that's why another one we put it in the brain. You control the you know, peripheral nerve, how do you know the brain is working? Because brain and spinal cord, peripheral nerve, all three connected. We cannot separate at all its body system. Once brain sends some signal, it's through the brain, you know, peripheral nerve, spinal, through the spinal cord and peripheral nerve, you know, control. But we are working on peripheral nerve right now and it is controlled by brain. So we're catching both signal and we match the signal and we confirm our peripheral nerve devices working the same way as a brain interface device. So we are making very tiny microfolytic channel, which is just enough for one axon. And once the axon is going through and nerve going through my device, nerve going through my device individually, and now we can catch up that signal individually. Uh, that is not possible in the brain, that is not possible in the spinal cord. Only it's possible through the peripheral nerve, through my device. The device that we are making is uh, like the first handcrafted device in the world. Like no one has used this one. So it's a new method. We have our own method. So for now we are trying to test it if, if we can get the uh, signals successfully and then we will go for next step that we will use that signals for probably prosthetic arms. So the one that I work with is pretty much a device that goes inside the leg. Um, they is divided in two phases. The first phase is to be able to regenerate the nerve inside the device. So that will prove that uh, the connection is viable. So once the connection is made through, phase two will be the implementation of the wires in order to get the signals. The more wires we get, the more signals we're able to record, and the information that we're getting will be more liable. So if that's the case, this will help in for future for prosthetics and connection when the limbs are being cut or the nerves have been severed. First thing you know, I need to mention about the you know, excellency of our students, it's kind of surprising. I've been yeah, working myself, I'm still doing myself, making the device and the surgery even, yeah. and I know how it's difficult. So I'm asking them kind of top research, world, world top research. I know some competitor, yeah, competitor of this research in England and Switzerland and Georgia Tech. I think yeah, we are one of top five yeah, research team at least this specific research, which is very difficult. And they are working really good way, and we are making almost the same quality of device, which I am making, and they are making the same device. Even the high school student right now, she is making almost the same grade, same quality of device because of this team work. I also think it's inspiring because um, it's very hands-on, very microscopic. I guess understanding the basics of how research, medical research like this is founded and handcrafted in a small laboratory like this. And just to um, 
gained that exposure through mentors who have experienced more than I have and who have uh, put more into this research that I have no doubt will impact the world of science, uh, especially for prosthetics and neuroscience in the future. I'm really happy with them and I believe we'll make something yeah, good and within a year you will see some yeah, research in other yeah, high yeah, profile yeah, research.